I'm cleaning up the game closet in our basement because my mother told me to because we just have a lot of stuff that needs to get rid of. And I was going through it and, and I found this therapy. The game. It's fascinating fun with a psychological twist. Let's find out how to play because I, I honestly, I mean, how can you not? This is board of this board game. You have infancy, childhood, adolescence, adulthood, seniority, and cosmos. It's like life, but but for like scientists. You can have a crisis in your infancy, group therapy in childhood, crisis in adolescence, group therapy in adulthood. The object of the game is to achieve mastery for each of the six stages of life. Because I mean, isn't that the goal of life anyway? To master each stage of life as you get to it basically died in old age so you know if you land on a therapy office space you automatically become the patient the owner of the office is your therapist the therapist selects a therapy card reads the question aloud to you and then the therapist has to write down what you what they think their patient's answer will be so for instance so tell me youtube which of your senses do you enjoy using the most so your options are a smell b taste e C touch, D sight, and E hear it. So now, all of you playing at home, think of what your favorite sense is and then write it in the comments. And I'll guess right now what the overall favorite would be. Okay, so, so the basis of the game is to get all six pegs of, you know, the different areas of, you know, infancy, childhood, adolescence, adulthood, seniority, and then cosmos. And, like, you, you go and you, like, you know, you have decks of cards for each stage and they have, like, questions about that stage, for instance, adolescence. Uh, example question. True or false? Most people who get divorced marry again. This is an adolescence, this is adulthood. So, in adulthood, true or false, most people who get divorced marry again. Answer's true. But, so, you know, you just have to answer questions, and apparently if you answer it right, then you get one of these little peg things. I don't really know, but you can also land on crisis things where bad things happen to you. In the dark, to get a job as a night watchman, you have to prove how observant you are. Close your eyes without reading any farther and hand this card to the player on your left. And some of some of these, if you do things wrong, you get sent to psychosis. And then after psychosis, you have to go to immediately to therapy. There's a giant go to psychosis before the end of the game. I'll have to admit, after looking at all this stuff, I kind of really want to play the game. I'd have to find some friends to do it with me. I just noticed I was looking at, you know, like the pieces that people have. I was like, oh, they're their cars, like in life. But then I realized, wait, no, they're not. They're, they're little couches. Because you, when you're in therapy, it's, you know, the idea that everyone lies on a couch, which is wrong, but it's kind of funny. That's fun. If you have this game, you know, play it. Uh, and now, following this, here are some of my favorite therapy cards. So tell me, YouTube, if you came home to find three letters in your mailbox, one addressed to you in normal blue pen, one in red pen, and one typewritten. Which letter would you open first? So tell me, YouTube, which player do you think would be most likely to wear suspenders? So tell me, YouTube, which player do you think will most likely have a dream tonight about being held prisoner in a dungeon? 